watching Fox Carolina, the Midday News. Welcome back to the Midday News on Fox Carolina. Think of it as speed dating, but with reading. The Hub City Writers Project is hosting their annual fundraiser. Delicious Reads allows readers to spend an afternoon meeting a myriad of authors. And joining me now from Hub City Writers Project are Annie and Mia. Thank you guys so much for stopping in. Thanks. Yeah, Glad thanks to be for here. having us. Yes, we're excited to have you. And of course, we have to give a quick shout out to uh, your cat right here. Yes. This is a real cat. It's yes. a real cat. Her name is Zora. She lives at the bookshop and she brings in a lot of people. Oh, we love that. So Zora's here in spirit too. That's right. In addition to you too. So for those who may not be familiar, can you tell us a little bit about um, the Hub City Writers Project? Yeah, so Hub City Writers Project was founded in 1995. Um, we are a nonprofit. We have um, three arms. So we have the overarching Hub City Writers Project and then Below that, we have Hub City Press, okay. um, which is an independent literary press focusing on publishing authors from the South, um, different voices than what you typically hear, um, and the bookshop, of course, Hub City Bookshop in downtown. Um, and so, yeah, uh, Hub City Writers Project also does lots of um, literary outreach in the community, donating books, that kinds of thing. Yeah, that kind of thing. Absolutely. Talk about being a nonprofit there. So mm -hmm. I know you have an annual fundraiser coming up in March. It's called Delicious Reads. What can we expect from this? Well, you get to come in. And it's at the AC Hotel, and so it's all set up. You can get um, drinks and cake and snacks, and then you get to sit and you get to meet the authors of the, this is just a sampling of the books that of the authors that we've come in. And so you know it's that extra special thing that you get to meet the author and really kind of hear from them, like what is your book about, and you know, and and you get to meet several authors, and it's just really exciting to be able to do that, you know, just make that connection with the author in a book. Yeah, it's kind of like speed dating, but with an author. And I you mentioned there's 18 authors in total. Yes. You'll get to meet around seven of them, yes. and you spend seven minutes, did you say, kind yes. of with them kind of rotating between the tables? Mm -hmm. And then you get to watch the authors run around between the tables. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to get their workout in yes. that day for sure. Well, I know you guys have done it before, so how did you guys come up with this idea to begin with? Um, yeah, that's a great question. So this event has been around for longer than both Annie and I. Um, <laughs> so um, we just kind of came into this and it was a, a thing already. So um, yeah, I, I believe there's a, another literary nonprofit in North Carolina that does a really similar event, um, but on a much larger scale. So we kind of uh, did our own spin on that yeah. and also have some local Spartanburg authors as well. Um, so, of course, we like to keep things Spartanburg centric and um, are focusing on that for this event too, yeah. as well as having nationally known authors. Very cool. Well, you guys yeah. mentioned it. You brought some of the books that will be featured, some of the authors that will be featured right. at your event. Can you walk us through kind of what we have here? Yeah, so this is what happened to Ruthie Ramirez. Um, and she, this author actually teaches at USC in Columbia, um, but this is a mystery. It did really well, and so we're super excited to have her. This is Jill McCorkle's Old Crimes. Um, Jill lives in North Carolina, um, and this is a book of short stories that came out in January. And this is The Life and Times of Hannah Crafts. Um, it's a history and has been reviewed a few times in the New York Times and has gotten um, lots of good press. And then you want to do this? Yeah, this is Do Tell. This is a debut book by this author. She's she's kind of our counterpart in Nashville. She's a book buyer for Parnassus Books, which is Ann Patchett's bookshop. But this is her debut novel. It's got a lot of really good buzz about it. So yeah. she's going to be there. This is a um, a poet that we're going to have. So it's not just fiction and nonfiction. It's also poetry. Um, this is um, Willie Carver, uh, Gay Poems for Red States. Um, and then we have this one, Making the Latino South by Celia Marquez. You guys have a lot of authors coming in mm -hmm. for this. And I love that there's kind of different varieties and genres mm -hmm. of books that, you know, any reader would want to enjoy. What do you kind of hope the average attendee takes away? Just being excited about books and reading. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's Absolutely. what we're all about. And connecting readers to books is kind of the bookshop's goal. And, you know, we love writers, too. And so whenever we can marry those two things, that's an exciting thing. But, you know, it's so neat to meet an author. It's kind of like, you know, when you read a book, it's almost like you're a friend. And then you yeah. get to meet them, and you're like, I know you. And um, so it's, yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun event. It's going to be really good. Get to kind of pick their brain a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping in. And, of course, if you are interested, the Delicious Reads event is happening on Sunday, March 17th, hosted by the Hub City Writers Project. It will be at the AC Marriott in downtown Spartanburg. That's on West Main Street. The author in the round event will begin at 2 p.m., but guests are recommended to arrive at 1.45. Tickets are $50 for non-members and $45 for members. And, of course, we will have more information on our website, Box Carolina. And now.